Hey guys, it's Ted Gravelin with another video tip of the day. And the, today's topic is, what is it that is holding you back from having the business that you really want to have? Now, it's probably a couple of things that it could be. And in some cases, um, starting off with number one, it's just plain old stubbornness, right? It's just plain old, this is the way I think it should be done, and you've been doing it for that way for a while, and your way ain't working. So. If, when that's the case, you just need to change it uh, and change the way you think how it's supposed to work because clearly there's people who have done it and doing it and they made the, got the results you want. You should probably start doing what they're doing, taking the actions they're taking and doing what they're doing. Now, the second one is way more insidious is fear. You have a fear. You have a fear that if I do these things, it's not going to work. It, maybe it works for them, but it won't work for me. Or you're afraid. Uh, let's get more an example. You're afraid like if you get your pricing to charge what you're actually really worth, you're afraid no one's going to pay it. Or you're afraid that somebody's going to laugh at you. Um, and you know, like guys that you don't even know, like other technicians and stuff that have absolutely nothing to do with your business are going to laugh at you. And in the end, you have to decide whether or not you're going to let that fear uh, do, do your things for you or whether you're going to move forward and take actions. Now, how do you get around the fear? What do you have to do? Well, the best thing to do is figure out exactly the actions it takes and break them into small bite-sized chunks. That's what I do when I'm working with my clients. We always break them into small chunks. So here's an example of that. So if you're talking about, let's just talk about the pricing model because it comes up a lot, right? How would you get over the fear of whether or not you're charging what you're worth? Well, first of all, if you were to go through some exercises and figure out exactly what things were really costing and that, and you could see the reality of where your arithmetic actually is, that helps you get over the fear of, what's, of what you're doing. Because, you, for example, I had a client that um, we figured out that his cost to deliver a service truck to the home was about $95 an hour, and he was charging $75 an hour in his flat rate. So we could see right away he had to get over it because he's like, well, like, clearly I can't hold on to this. I had to move forward. So starting with one step and the next step and the next step, and then you'll get there. So just like anything else, like when a kid's learn to ride a bike and they're afraid of falling off, or when you learn to go skiing and you're afraid of falling down, or when the first time you looked at an entire installation and you said, oh my God, how are we going to do all of this in a day? We're going to change out a condenser, a coil, a line set, an electrical, a all of that in one day. And you know, what you do is, if you were to step back and look at that, you'd be overwhelmed, right? But what you really do is you just take it one step at a time. First thing we have to do, remove the equipment. Next thing to do, figure out and place the new stuff. Next thing to do, figure out how to hook up the duct work. Next thing to do, figure out how to hook up the electrical. Pretty soon you're like, hey, it's only lunchtime and we've got about half of it done. It kind of works that way. So that is the key, is that, getting over the fear. The fear of making a change, and once you make those changes, things start to work really, really great. So that's the tip of the day is don't let those roadblocks get in your way. Handle the fear. Give up on it. And we'll talk soon.